video is all about how to balance equations. To begin with, I'm going to start with magnesium plus oxygen makes magnesium oxide. So I have one atom of magnesium reacting with an oxygen molecule to produce magnesium oxide. This little two means that I have two atoms of oxygen which are bonded together. Okay, for this to be a balanced equation, I need to have the same amount of atoms on both sides of the dotted line. So as you can see, we have a problem. As here, we have two oxygen atoms, whereas here we only have one. So to start with, I'm going to add a whole other magnesium oxide molecule. Now I have two oxygen atoms on this side and two oxygen atoms on this side. My next problem is, I only have one magnesium here and I have two magnesiums here. So I'm going to add a whole other magnesium atom on this side. Now that I'm happy that I have the correct amount of atoms on both sides, I need to count how many lots of each atom I have. So for example, one, two. I have two magnesium atoms. So in front of the magnesium symbol here, I can write a big two. I have one set of oxygen atoms here. So if I wanted to, I could put a one here, but I'm going to leave it blank. And finally, I have one, two molecules of magnesium oxide. So just before the magnesium oxide symbol here, I'm going to write a big two. This is a balanced symbol equation. Let's try another one. In this equation, we are looking at the reaction of one sodium atom with two chlorine atoms to make sodium chloride. As you can see, this is not balanced as I have two chlorines on this side and only one on this side. So to start with, I'm going to add a whole other sodium chloride molecule. Now I have two atoms of chlorine and two atoms of chlorine. However, I only have one atom of sodium on this side, so I'm going to add another sodium atom. Now I need to count how many lots of each atom I have. So for sodium, I have one lot, two lots. So here, before the symbol of sodium, I need to write a big two. Here, I have one molecule of chlorine. So if I wanted to, I could write a one, or I could just leave it blank. And finally, I have one, two molecules of sodium chloride. So you guessed it, before the sodium chloride symbol here, I need to add a big two. This means two atoms of sodium react with a chlorine molecule to produce two sodium chlorides. Let's try another one. Hydrogen plus oxygen makes hydrogen oxide, most co commonly known as water. So, hi two hydrogen atoms react with two oxygen atoms to make hydrogen oxide. As you can see, there is only one molecule of oxygen on this side, whereas there are two on this side. So to start with, I'm going to add another molecule of water. Now, I have two oxygen atoms on this side and two on this side. However, I have four hydrogens on this side and I only have two here. So I'm going to add another hydrogen molecule. Now I'm going to count how many lots of each element I have. So for example, one, two. I have two lots of hydrogen molecules. So before the hydrogen symbol here, I'm going to write a big two. I have one lot of oxygen atoms. So if I wanted to, I could write a one here, but I'm going to leave it blank. And finally, I have one, two molecules of water. So here, before the symbol for water, I'm going to add a big two. This is the balance symbol equation. Let's try another one. Aluminium reacts with oxygen to make aluminium oxide. As you can see, this is not a balanced equation. So, to start with, I'm going to add another lot of aluminium oxide. I now have six oxygen atoms on this side. So, here, I need to add two more lots until I make six. Now, on this side of the equation, I have four aluminiums. So on this side, I need to add two, three, four. Now I need to count how many lots of each element I have. So for example, one, two, three, four. So before the aluminium symbol here, I need to write a big four. Now I have one, two, three lots of oxygen. So before the oxygen symbol here, I need to write a big three. And finally, I have one, 
two lots of aluminium oxide, so before the aluminium oxide symbol here, I need to write a 2.